More than 1,300 people are dead after a massive earthquake rocks the Middle East. The powerful 7.8 magnitude quake was centered in the southeastern Turkey area near the border with Syria. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook joins us live from the newsroom with the very latest on the search for survivors. Elijah? Yeah, you know, Chris and Mary, rescue crews and residents in multiple cities continue to search for survivors, working through tangles of metal and giant piles of concrete. Take a look. Dramatic new video shows the devastation. We're hearing window shattering, even Buildings like this one you see there on your screen collapsed, sending residents into snowy streets. Now, officials say the quake, which lasted about a minute, uh, struck six miles near southern Turkey and was felt in Cyprus, Lebanon, and Syria. The natural disaster left young children like this toddler injured who had to be rescued from the rubble. At least 20 aftershocks were felt, according to officials, the strongest measuring at a 6.6. The head of the Turkish Red Cross says it's mobilizing resources for the region and is urging people to evacuate damaged homes. Reports show that area is regularly hit by strong quakes. In fact, Turkey sits on top of major fault lines. More than 18,000 people were killed in powerful quakes that hit the northwest part of the country back in 1999. Now, in a statement we're learning, President Biden has directed federal government partners to assess U.S. response options to help those most impacted. Mary?